Okay, so the first rule we have is constant rule. How do we differentiate a constant? Well, the derivative of a constant c is zero. So if you have any constant or any number, the derivative of that number is zero. Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say we have f of x, which is a function, equals three. What is the derivative of this function? Well, the derivative is zero. f prime of x is zero. The derivative of a function that is a constant is zero. Let me give you another example. Let's say f of x equals 35 pi plus 4. You see here we have a pi, but still we have numbers. 35 pi plus 4 equals roughly around 114, and this is still a number. The derivative of this function is still a 0 because we have a constant. Therefore, the derivative of a constant c is 0. No matter what kind of c you have, no matter what kind of constant you have, what kind of number you have, you still get a 0 when you differentiate that function. Okay, but why the derivative of a constant is zero? Well, as you know, the derivative of a function measures the change of that function or the slope of a tangent line at that point in the function. If you have a constant, all you have is a straight line. There is no change happening in the function. Therefore, the derivative is zero. The rate of change in that function is zero. That's why when you have a constant, a function equaling constant, when you want to find the derivative, the derivative equals zero. And that is the reason because there is no change happening in that function. But keep in mind that let's say our function equals x, f of x equals x, the derivative of x equals 1. If our differentiation is in respect of y and f of y equals y, then the derivative of f of y is still 1. So if you have only x without any constant right here greater than 1 and without any powers, then the derivative of that function is 1. Here, f of x equals x, the derivative of f of x is 1. So the derivative of a constant is 0. The derivative of f of x equaling x is 1. And this will be it for the constant rule. Let's check out the second rule.